Hello my friend, my name is David from RC Scale Models and today I have another kit review. This one's from Hobby Boss. It's their 135 scale French EBR10 wheeled reconnaissance vehicle. Um, if you've ever played World of Tanks, you know how frustrating this tank can be to try and shoot and stuff because it's super fast. Uh, the French designed this vehicle, as, as uh, like it says there, as a reconnaissance vehicle. It has road wheels and it has these metal wheels in the center for traction and stuff and the combination just gives it superb speed and stuff um the gun is pretty good on the vehicle in world of tanks it's not too bad as well but it's something unusual it's not a, a typical tank it's uh something completely different um I do want to start doing some armor i have done some recently so we're going to start with this ebr like i say it is something different let's take a look what we get on the kit the length of the kit will be 207.5 millimeters and height is 69.5 millimeters uh, you do get a little bit of write up on the EBR if you wish to read it. The camouflage scheme is pretty much like an olive drab, unless you want to do your research and you can find out more information. The kit, I believe, came out in 2017. Uh, the kit number is 82489. And that's it, pretty much. As for what we get in the box, it's the top opening box loaded with stuff we have the color call out instructions it's loaded with plastic bag nicely separate compartments we do get rubber wheels but the metal wheels in the center they give you rubber which is completely incorrect i do have replacement resin these are the resin wheels replacements so i'll be using these as for the kit let's get into it as for the paperwork we quickly have a look at the color call outs this is the color call out like i say it's this one one scheme they give you which is olive drab or light light green um but as i say do references there's probably other colors out there as for the instructions it's typical hobby boss This is a pull-out page. I know this is a booklet one. My mistake. Uh, so we start with everything is in the kit. One, two, three, four, five sprues, upper hole, bathtub, turret, the turret ring, and the uh, rubber parts, and a little bit of photo etch. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Probably clear parts. You start with the suspension arms, and then it's the uh, wheels assembly, and then it's got the rubber pieces. As I say, I'm not using the rubber, I am replacing them. Upper hole, uh, super structure, a couple of drill holes to, to drill out, they're probably for certain things. Lower and bathtub hole getting sandwiched together, very simple. We have these structural parts to go in. These pieces here on the underside, we have these pieces transmission covers by looks of things going on the ends the uh, suspension arms that you built up can get attached now we have these ones here as well which are more type of arms then we have the structural plates going in pretty simple uh, road wheels again two halves and the tires again I'm not using those I'll be replacing them um, but if you are doing it out of the box, it's pretty simple. Attach your wheels, turn the vehicle over. You've got all the detail parts by grab handles and light guards and stuff like that going on. We have these hatches going in. And that's uh, for front and back. There is a driver compartment on both sides. That's how the vehicle can drive so quickly because basically there is two drivers. It's lot of coordination uh, attention to the upper hole it's more detail parts by having lights mirrors 
tools, all the tools and stuff I'll put on last. Stowage, wooden planks, more tools. I'll do all that separately. These are more lights. Uh, and we have the structural plates going on the back. We have the uh, clamp for the turret. And then we have the lower turret ring section and then the main turret. There is a structural part inside of the turret. Commander's cupola. This side piece around the back is like the canvas piece for the turret. More tools and grab handles. I'll do all that separately. The hatches I'll attach. Jerry cans you can attach now because they'll probably be the same colour as the vehicle. This piece here is for the aerial. Um, your main gun. I'm not sure if it's moulded as one piece. It looks like it is because it doesn't show any halves. So hopefully it's a sly bowly bell, hopefully. And then drop your turret down on top of your vehicle. And then it should be ready for painting and stuff. There's a lot of small bags, so we go through this. Here is your decals. You just get some. Let's open this and show you. All there is is these yellow circles with number 16 written in it. I think that's the, the squadron, but there's no actual insignias because the French didn't use them. So if you're a fan of not many decals, this kit be pretty good because that's all you get for decals. Some uh, number plates and number 16 uh, markings. Pretty simple. As for the Valorich, it's pretty much structural parts and light guards. And that's it for Valorich. As for the small parts, Start with the uh, lower bathtub hole. It's quite a tiny vehicle. Even in 135 scale, it's quite small. So here is the bathtub hole. Let's focus in on those parts. Let's move them out of the way. Come on, focus. Here we are. Nice bathtub hole. Pretty simple. We have these ejector pins to take care of, but there isn't much detail or rivets or anything, but most of it gets covered up, but very basic, there's no interior. There is a stamp inside, uh, doesn't have a date, but it just says EBR, 135 scale. Ejector pins on the inside, but you won't be seeing them. Um, I won't have the hatches open because there is no interior. As for the Super Sutra, uh, where's my knife gone? This is the Super Structure, nicely done. As I say, it's symmetrical, it's the way the vehicle was designed. We have this anti slip. So we have one driver here and here and then I think there's a commander and I think I think there's only crew, three crew members. Uh, I can't remember. I have to check on where the tanks or do my references. I think there's only a three crew members in total, but it's a uh, weird looking vehicle, but it's something different. This piece here is part of the lower turret ring section. And your main turret will sit here and then you've got the uh, canvas parts to fit on which come in two halves. Pretty, pretty basic. Here's part of the uh, upper turret part. Here is the upper turret. We have uh, stuff going to the sides, your main gun to go in there, 
and your hatches and some structural parts at the back pretty simple in this bag is the canvas pieces the mold in plastic it's probably like a uh, khaki color probably these are what mix the canvas It goes around the bottom of the turret. Okay, what we get for rubber parts? Uh, here is a rubber wheel. Wheel, sorry. It does have a uh, Michelin molded in there. They are nicely done. I could get away with using these and use the resin centers, but. These are the centre pieces. I don't know why they've moulded these in rubber when they're not on a real vehicle. They're actually a metal wheel. Um, they give you these for the centres. There is nice pattern on there, but I don't know why they just didn't mould this all as plastic. I don't know why. We have these bags. These bags are probably detailed parts and fragile parts because Hobby Boss tend to uh, wrap their fragile parts in uh, like a uh, uh, what is it? It's like a sponge. There is two 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 blah, two of these sprues. Spit it out. So here is this sprue here. Contains all nice fragile parts, structural arms. Um, basically what it was protecting is these We have one in here It was protecting all these fragile fragile parts we have the spade, this is the bracket for your, your gun, these look like part of the suspension. Very, very fine detail. You have to be super careful taking these off the sprue so they don't snap. In this one we have the wheels. There's two of these. So we get this for wheel assembly. Um, two halves and some detail parts. Get to pins on the inside, but you're not going to see them because they get sandwiched together, so not a problem. My mistake, there is actually four, not two, so there's four of these. We have two of these in this bag. These look like suspension arms and more tools. So we have these two. And this is protecting these fragile parts. Nice suspension arms, some more tools. Nicely done. This is the last sprue. Contains the uh, part of the turret, turret ring, lower turret section. It is slide molded barrel. So it is molded, it's kind of a slide molded end, but this piece is not. So it's going to require a couple of clean up here, but this end is. All mold is one piece so no need for an aftermarket barrel because the plastic one should be sufficient jerry cans nicely done commander's cupola um the hatches and stuff come to think of it i don't see any clear parts so i'm going to need clear for this um, i'm gonna have to look 
But as I say, this sprue is nicely done. We have some more tools up here. As for the clear parts, there isn't any. For the commander's hatch, you've got uh, these pieces that go over the top and that's it. So there is no clear. Strange. So there you are, my friends. Something a little bit different. You see a uh, Hobby Boss's French EBR10 wheeled reconnaissance vehicle. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.